crying. I was giving her all the signs and that's when it happened. She caught me and she caught me right before the start of that last lap with about 450 meters left to go in our 1600 meter race. Now, if you know anything about track, typically right there is where you're coaching your teammates are for your, your, your long distance events. That's the finish line, the start line. And that's typically where they're there recording your times and yelling at your splits and cheering you on. That's also where the bleacher start and the interest to the track is. So that's where the fans are. That's where the teams are. And so it's like they're right there in your face. And as soon as she passed me in front of the entire crowd, her team went wild. <laughs> and I immediately made eye contact with my coach and I read his lips and they said, you better go. And then I heard my mother from way up in the bleachers screaming out, you better not let that girl beat you, Keyshawn. Yes, she was that crazy mom who would run laps with you as you ran your race. <laughs> I love her. But I heard them and I didn't want this girl to win either because I had big goals and I believed in me. And so with 200 meters left in that race of that 1600 meter race, I leaned in and I leaned hard. And at this point, the girl had not only passed me, but she had gained about 15 to 20 meters on me. But I kicked it in like I never had before. Like I was running, like I was sprinting the 200 meters. I had completely forgotten about the wall I just slammed into, how my legs felt like concrete jello, how I could barely even lift them when I initially slammed into that wall. I completely forgotten about how I was just embarrassed in front of the entire crowd when she blew past me after I led the entire race. But I believed in me. And I wanted the title more than I cared about the pain. And if I died, because y'all, that was a legitimate concern in my mind. <laughs> I knew that I would have died leaving it all out on the field. And so despite that wall that I had just slammed into not even 500 meters ago, I kicked it into a gear that I never knew even existed in my body. And with my sweat mixing with my tears and my tears turning into fuel, I propelled and I actually pulled it off and won the race. And I didn't die. I'm still here. I'm, I'm here to tell you about it. <laughs> but from there on out, no matter what race, no matter where I was in the race, whether it be first place or last place, I finished with a kick that was so strong and so powerful that it left people in awe. Why? Because even as that kid ran the mile, I had big goals to go to college. And that had been embedded in my mind since really I could speak. I can hear my mother now saying, if you want to go to college, Keyshawn, you better run fast because that's the only way we're going to afford it. And whether that be true or not, that's what I truly believed. And so I had no other choice but to believe in me and my why and that I am a champion. So what do I want you to take away from that story? I have three takeaways. And then, and, and in these takeaways, uh, you're, we're going to gut check your champion mindset. And I will um, go back over them at the end of the call if you miss any. But the first takeaway that I'm going to talk about from the story is I want you all to set yourself up to be in the position to move positively toward the attainment of your goals. Or like DeWitt Jones, our keynote speaker from Summit last year, said, put yourself in a place of highest potential. That basically means do the basic business producing activities daily and consistently, especially when things get tough. That's the only way to set yourself up to be in the position to move positively towards the attainment of your goals. And that's with the four vital behaviors. And with those vital, necessary behaviors, one big way to set yourself up for maximum success is by achieving success club. Helping free people every month, period. It needs to be a must-happen goal every month, period. And inviting is really the only way to ensure that it happens. And the great thing is, is that we can use summer as an opportunity for you to reach out to your followers, your friends, your family, your prospects. You know, I overheard some of you guys, your kids are getting out of school. This is a great time to go to the pool, to go to camps and campgrounds and go to the park with your children. I can continue to go on, but find ways to get out the house and meet new people. Go connect with your followers and with your friends. And get this about Success Club. If you plan on staying around, if you plan on being a Beachbody coach for the next two years, you have the potential to increase what you're currently doing by 234%. And that's by helping free people every month consistently for two years. 
You have the potential to increase your income by 234%, and that's at least 72 people that you would have helped start their journey to living healthy, fulfilling lives. So from here on out, never miss it. Be consistent with hitting Success Club because if we worked for someone else and our goal was to help three people every month and we didn't, we would be fired. And the beauty is, is that you don't work for anyone else in this business. This is your business. You are the CEO. And it's been proven by coaches that this behavior will absolutely put you in the place of highest potential to achieve your goals. No matter what your goals are, use Success Club as a tracking system. And if Success Club scares you or turns you off the word, I give you permission to change it. <laughs> change it to the Lives Change Club or something that is more conducive or accurately depicts what we're actually doing when we hit Success Club. So are you putting yourself in the place of highest potential? Champions do. And if you're not, realign your goals to your why and redevelop the actions and activities that you're striving for that will get you to where you want to go and to who you desire to become. That's the first. The second thing I want you all to take away from my story is to keep running. When that girl passed me, I didn't stop. It wasn't the end of the race. It wasn't the end of my life. I had a choice to make, to give it up or give it all. And you have a very similar choice to stay consistent and not stopping. Don't stop three feet from the end of the month, from your daily routine of growing your business or from whatever. And team, others may be slowing down. And that's okay. We're running our own race because our goals don't change with the seasons. Who you desire to become, I don't think, wavers due to quote unquote difficult months or because life is happening to you. As a matter of fact, I challenge you to have a paradigm switch when life happens to you. Get excited about the growth that you're about to embark on because life is happening to you. Because you're not going to ease off of your business goals, your personal goals, your team goals, or anything else in life because life is happening to you. And then here's the big secret to success. Are you ready? It's consistency! Ah! Consistency is the not so secret to, secret to being successful in this business and really in life. And guys, you don't have to know everything to be successful. You just have to be consistent with what you do know and pursuing the answers to what you don't. That means implementing. That means doing. That means it's okay to be exactly where you are today. And if a question comes up, you go find the answer. But know that 100% of the things you do today will affect who you become tomorrow and so on. But you know what, team? I'm also going to add another secret to success on this. The second secret is patience. <laughs> Consistency and patience are the big secrets to success. You are very well equipped to get the results you desire. You just have to do it, then be consistent, then be patient. But you champions on Team True, you have what it takes now to be successful, now to achieve your goals. But now we just have to gut check your champion mindset. So are you being consistent with your daily activities? Are you being consistent with the four vital behaviors, with those necessary behaviors? So mindset, I'm, I'm gonna get back to my story, but just appease me for a little bit. I'm gonna vent a little bit. It's summer. This is not the time of the year to slow down. This is actually go time. And even if you're not yielding the desired results, I can guarantee that you're planting some pretty wicked seeds. You're building relationships. You're forming prospects. You're constantly sharing what you're doing so people know where to go and who to go to for their fitness needs. Stay consistent in the simplicity of that and then be patient with the team. And also in the last couple of months, I've heard over and over about how tough it was or how slow it was. And my response to that was, well, I have a whole bunch of people that I'm working with who set audacious goals and who are achieving their audacious goals. So I ask them back when they say that, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to give up? Are you going to change your goals? Are you going to stop reaching out to people? Are you going to stop sharing your story? Are you going to log off of social media for a few months? This is the time of year where we do have to remember our why and frequently visit our goals and vision boards from the beginning of the year and from last summit. 
This is the time of year when we really get to see who has it in them to achieve their goals, your goals. This is also the time of year when excuses come up more often. It's a slow time of year. Kids are going back to school. Holidays, traveling, vacation, you name it, it can be an excuse. I want to challenge you to move beyond your excuses. I want to challenge you to replace those excuses with affirming words. Stop thinking that negative mess because that's what champions do. That's what leaders do. That's what people on a mission to achieve their goals do. And then you have to be flexible in adapting to the change of speed. Perhaps you have to dig deeper to achieve goals that come easier in other months. It's okay. Champions adapt because, again, our goals don't change with the time of year. Goals and whys don't change with the seasons. This, right now, is when your history is written. So have you let your foot off the brake? This is another cool thing about champions. They may falter but they always get back on course. So today I challenge you, if you're one, if you're one of those champs that's fallen off course, I challenge you to course correct and get back on. So I say it's summer, it's slower, who cares? Because what I do know is that two of three people are overweight in the United States right now. What I do know is that there are people out there that we can help tonight, right now. But it's up to you to move beyond the excuses, to see through those excuses because they need us the most right now. And we need you. And I believe in you. I'm that coach or that mom all the way up in the bleachers, like my mom, yelling that you got this because I believe in the work that we're doing. I believe in our mission. But do you truly believe it, Chance? Do you truly understand that you have everything it takes today? It's the vital behaviors. So some of you may be saying, but I'm giving this all I've got. I've gut checked myself and I truly can't give it anything else. First of all, if you're giving this baby all you've got and you're gut checking yourself along the way to make sure you are and you fall short of your goals, <laughs> that's a win. That's what going big means. It's not to beat yourself up if you don't hit your goals. It's to ensure that your daily actions are aligned correctly. It's to gut check yourself to ensure you're doing all you can to achieve your goals. It's about what you've learned and the number of people you've connected with. It's about who you become in the pursuit of going after your audacious goals. So run through that finish line, no matter what. Fall through that finish line. And remember that champions keep running the race, period. Going back to my story. The third and final thing I, wanted to, I want you all to take away from my story is to lean in and to lean hard and to finish strong. Lean on your trainings, lean on your team, and let's finish this baby strong. Finish pursuing uh, your, your summit before summit, and, and let's finish 2016 strong. Let's kick it into a gear you never even knew existed in your body that may freak you out a little bit. There's still plenty of time left, but it's time for you to turn up the intensity. It's go time. I want everyone on this call to wake up tomorrow and the next day and the next day after that, knowing that they could not have given the night before, the day before, a fingernail tip more. I want you daily to run through your finish line. And then understand that it's truly not about the start. It is about the finish. So how will you finish this? Are you living life or are you merely coasting? And living life means finishing your life story strong and leaving nothing on the field daily in the pursuit of becoming who you desire, in the pursuit of becoming the type of mom, dad, husband, wife, leader, community servant, CEO. Fall through that finish line in pursuit of becoming all of that. Live life, team. Let's live life. So, guys. I'm going to end with this. Well, when I say end, I still have like 10 more minutes. <laughs> um, Team Beachbody hasn't even begun to scratch the surface of, of what we will achieve and the lives that we will change in pursuit of ending the trend of obesity. And you're in it. You're a part of this. You're going to get your cut. We couldn't do this without you. And all you have to do is be willing to push, lean in, and be consistent. Push through that voice that says stop. 
the voice that says you won't make it, the voice that says you can do it later, the voice that says, who do you think you are? Push past that. Push now and then keep pushing and then find other people to push with you, to help you push, find new ways to push and to keep you pushing. Whatever it takes, push and push with passion and push with pride and push with love and push with purpose and push through that finish line. Push through your daily finish lines, Team True. Because there are people out there whose survival and success is waiting on what you will bring. You just have to be willing to push. And that doesn't start tomorrow. It starts right now. Champions start now. They do not wait for tomorrow to be the person they desire. The time is now. If you want things that you've never had, you're going to have to do things you've never done. And I believe in you. I believe that you can do it. I believe that you all are champions. And so lastly, in the pursuit of living a healthy and fulfilling life, just know that you will have haters. You'll have haters much like those ones who went wild and cheered against me during that mile race when the girl passed me in front of everyone. We all have haters. And if you're doing things right, you should have haters. So don't be fearful about being yourself on social media. Or, or, or your new self on social media, because we're not selling something useless. We're not selling anything at all. We're sharing a life-changing solution. We're sharing the solution for the dad to be able to walk his beautiful daughter down the aisle. We're sharing the solution for that grandmother to stop taking the pictures and to get in the pictures with her family. We're sharing the solution for that mom to be able to have a legacy to pass down to her children. So know you and be confident in the work that you're doing, the work that we're doing, and that it's coming from a good place. And keep pushing. You're not going to be everyone's cup of tea. And when you start something new, your haters, and oftentimes our haters are the ones who are closest to us, they may mock you. And I don't know, maybe it's because they know us, like they know us, right? Maybe you started several things and you've quit several times. Maybe even at one point you thought you were a failure. But you have to show them that you are in this forever and that you will continue to be positive and post about what you're doing with your life. And you will continue to share this amazing opportunity because if not, you be a disservice to your friends and family who need to know about this opportunity. And if they don't want to see who you're becoming, then they are more than welcome to a friend you. And I need for everyone on this call, Team True, to be okay with being unfriended. But I think that is because we've been programmed and conditioned to believe this vicious cycle that you graduate from high school, you go to college, you get a job, you start a family, you retire. It's kind of like the elephant who was attached to the plastic patio chair. If you guys don't know the story, uh, there's an elephant who's attached by a thin rope to a plastic patio chair. There were no chains, there were no cages, just that thin rope and the plastic patio chair. Uh, and it was very obvious that he could get loose. And there was a gentleman who was walking by. He asked the trainer, well, why aren't the elephants trying to escape? And the trainer said, well, when they were young, we used the same size rope. And at that age, it actually held them. And then as they grow up, they're conditioned to believe that they can't break away. They believe that the rope will hold them so they never even try to break free. Lord have mercy, Team True. Let's break those chains and generational curses. Let's show our friends and family what it's like to be free and to dream big, to not just coast through life, but to truly live the life that we designed. Because being attached to that vicious cycle, it doesn't have to be your reality. Amy and numerous other coaches have proven that it doesn't have to be. It's okay to lean in and to lean hard in this business and torture goals. It's okay to break free from that cycle. And those people who say you dream too big, they dream too small. If you only live once, why not give this baby all you got? Why not? Why not lean in and lean hard every day? Why not? I don't believe that you guys are here by coincidence or chance. I believe that you were meant to walk into this opportunity. I believe that you were meant to meet your upline. That you were meant to be a part of Team Rise Up. And I believe that you were meant to be victorious and that you are a champion. So if there's a voice of doubt in your mind, in the back of your head, wherever that voice may be, kick that voice in the face. 
The voice that makes you resist getting uncomfortable. The voice who says you aren't worth it. You can't do it. The voice who says, what do you think you're doing? You're not Barbie. You don't have what it takes. You're being salesy. Yes, that voice. Kick that voice dead in the face because you absolutely can because you are a champion. And when you decide to commit, you will succeed, period. So do not be scared of your potential success. Do not be scared of the person, the team, the leader that you said you want to be. And then never, ever give up in the pursuit of achieving it. So that was a lot. Um, I gave you all some ways to ensure you're checking your, uh, your champion mindset. And I'm just going to recap those really quick. There's seven. Put yourself in a place of highest potential by focusing on the four vital behaviors and helping three people every month. Second, keep going no matter what and be sure to run your own race. The third, be consistent with your daily activities that yield positive results and keep going regardless of life happening to you. Consistency was also one of the big secrets to success along with patience. Four, be mindful of your thoughts. Say your affirmations. Be positive. Know that you're in good company if you have to dig deeper in months to achieve goals that come easier in other months. Five, if you've gotten off course, it's never too late to course correct and get back on path to becoming who you desire. Six, lean in and lean hard and lean on your team towards your goals. And seven, the time is now. If you want things you've never had, you're going to have to do things you've never done. So my last thing, I'm going to share my screen. And I just want to leave you with this video. I'm going to um, commentate on top of it. Um, but this is someone who has a champion mindset. And there's one thing that I know about this girl for sure, and that's she believes she is a champion. So can you guys see that okay? Okay, I think you guys can. All right, so... Can you guys still see it okay? Okay. Doing about the for second call. It is, it's between Cork and that oh, is UL at the moment. Soon. CIT and UL, but it can't. All right, it's it's great, it's great race, it's right? We got first place, second place, third place. Yeah, We're really focused on these top three people. Turned on with 250 to go. You know what, Eight let me pause. Six meters. Oh, you're not gonna get Wait, sorry. I, I had it all set up, of course, you know how technology is. Doing about the for second call. It is. It's between Cork and oh, I spoke too soon. All right, so we got the top three. Number one, she is killing it, right? She's leading the race. Number two and three, they're right on their heels. Fourth place is coming from nowhere. This person in the eight meters to get there. Six meters. Oh, you are gonna get this off. So second place is coming off the her. Woo, got her. Here comes the person who's in third place. And then here comes the girl I want you all to remember. The girl who believes she's a champion. And that's the girl who was in sixth place. The girl that we didn't even see until right now. And the only thing I know is that this girl believes in herself and she is leaving it all out on the field. She fell out on that line because she believes in herself and she has a goal. And that's the same exact way that I want you all to approach your life and this business. I want you guys to run through your finish line in the pursuit of achieving your goals knowing that you are champions that's all i got for you guys wow you just uh poured it all out there you are the best <laughs> thank you so much you got me crying there girl <laughs> no that was awesome and um i don't even know what to say i took notes i have all those notes taken and um that was just amazing. Thank you so much for sharing your heart and your passion and your energy. Um, it's just contagious and I'm inspired to be on the call. And I know I love chatting with you every day and I hope that they felt the same way. Um, I know they did. So what'd you guys think? Okay. Any questions about anything? I see the, the name of the video is Phil Keeley, 
P-H-I-L-H-E-A-L-Y wins race from the depths of hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, that's awesome. Well, we love you and we so appreciate you taking the time to share with us tonight and just thank you so much. I think that we're going to go out there and we're going to run through the finish line and we're going to crush June and the rest of this year. Um, Let's do it! Team Rise Up is rising up. I love it. I can't wait to see you guys at Summit. And if you need anything in the meantime, question. find me on Facebook. I'm the only Keyshawn Graves on Facebook. If you spell my name correctly, and I am absolutely here for you. All right. Brian has one question. It, oh, yes, please. Jeff Hill, is uh, Jeff Hill in the office, like the next office over, like wondering what you're doing on this call right now? With uh... <laughs> It is 730 here, so everyone has been Aww, gone for two hours. Aww, right? <laughs> you're working overtime for true. You are the best. Aww. Thank you so much for being on our call. Yes, love it. you. My pleasure. Aww. Love you guys, too. Bye, Thank team. You. Bye, guys. Did I end the meeting? Mm, stop recording. All right. Oh, well, I mean, you all right, guys. So I did record most of the call. So if you had um, some team members that did not make the call, we can share that link with you later on. Um, how do you guys feel? Are you ready to go out there and crush June? Get those excuses thrown away and run through the finish line. What do you think, hon? I'm kind of feeling like we don't have enough enthusiasm. I feel like I need to go drink 10 coffees and then come back to you guys and be like, yes, you guys got this. <laughs> right? No, I think there was some amazing stuff that she shared. Um, if I could hit on everything that I mentioned, I mean, I would, but I don't want to take up all your time. But yeah, she's so right. You know, consistency, patience, and, and it's so simple. It's just the vital behaviors. It's just um, But you know, it, 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 if you're doing the vital behaviors, it might just be that you need to do more of the vital behaviors, you know, like right. that you need to track and focus and, and, and really uh, buckle down in those and be consistent. Because if it's one thing that Amy is, it's consistent. I mean, she works every single day and has for years. Um, and it adds up, you know, it really does over time. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. and um, It does. And even in those tough times where you think you're having a rough month or you know, you're thinking you're not going to reach your goals, you know, know that you're planting seeds no matter what you're doing. And the next month could be awesome. Um, we heard that too. I mean, we look, we heard that from the top coaches in the company. There are threads on the five star page right now, which, you know, where coaches are like, I lost success club. I had 50 something months of success club. I lost it in May. Guess what guys, May is always tough. Okay. Lots of kids get out of school in May. There's distractions. There's, um, dance recitals, there's all the end of the year stuff with school, and uh, it can be tough. You know, the summer usually is a little better, especially like June and July. Mm -hmm. um, so don't get discouraged if you, you know, if you didn't reach your goals last month. Like Keishon said, you know, the game is not over. You know, you know, long time ago, Amy missed Success Club in one of her first month, two months in a row, actually, I think, in the yep. beginning. And you know what? She didn't quit. You know, then she made 50, 52 months in a row. So you guys can do it. You know, one month doesn't, you know, make a business or make somebody's, you know, career. You, you caught a quote on uh, the success of speaking of. Yeah, I mean, Keishawn mentioned, I mean, I never really thought of it like that, but I wrote it down when she said it that, you know, anywhere else in the world, if you, if you had like a regular job and you had a goal and you consistently didn't make that goal, and if that, if that goal was only, you know, helping three people a month, to hit it and if you weren't able to do that they would fire you and I was like wow that's an interesting thought I never really thought that's of a cool it way like to look that. At it. not yeah. that we're looking to fire anyone off the CRU <laughs> but um, no but it's a good uh, way to think of it it might help some of you to kind of go for it so. well yeah I think it kind of goes back to making your goals non-negotiable you know just kind of mm -hmm. like I am going to do it no matter no matter right. what and the best thing to do is to start early you don't want to be scrambling yes at the end of the month this month you've got uh, 21 day fix on right like mm -hmm. 21 day fix I'll 21 day fix extreme yep on sale and it's everybody's favorite and most coaches favorite mm -hmm. um you got the incentives for summit so those are who are going to summit could finish off and get the party with uh, Billy Idol. Did you hear about this? Billy Idol. She, she, we've been busy this. all we've day. We've been busy today. I, what's Billy Idol? Billy, Billy Idol is like the uh, summit. What is it called? The summit uh, successful party guy. He's Person. playing. You know, oh, do you know Billy Idol? Oh, so he's Here's like, the thing about Amy. 
Amy did not have cable. Amy did not have cable in the eighties, so she. I know okay, Billy Idol. <laughs> Some of these things you reference. Oh my no lord! Yes. Okay, so white wedding, you know. Yes. That yes. Guy? Yes. So he's the summit. He's the success so club party. Performing. performing. Wow, yes. that's yeah. impressive. Okay, so wait, what's the success club? So you gotta read success club ten in May, <laughs> and then you gotta finish it off with ten in June. So so many of okay. you guys. Had 10 in May, but you got to get another 10 in June to get the Success Club party invite. You can do it. And yeah. I always aim for like the 10th or the 15th to have your Success Club goal right there because then you're hitting it early and you can just push for more the rest of the month and you're not scrambling at the end of the month, which you don't want to do. Um, so aim to help at least three people by the 10th, you know, the middle of the month, the 15th, somewhere around there. And then you won't have to worry about stressing out towards the end of the month of reaching your if, goal. If Amy would have waited in May, oh. she would have struggled to hit Success Club in May. She got most of her points in the first two weeks two of the weeks. month. Yep. And it wasn't like we stopped working. We continued working. But things hard. happened in our house. I got sick. She got sick. And then, you know, these unexpected things happened. Things happen. not, and then, then the next thing you know, you didn't hit Success Club. Yeah. We, you know, maybe, you know, we were lucky that we – well, not lucky. We just we worked hard in the, in the right. beginning of the month. We were prepared. And, mm -hmm. like, things happened in our life. And we didn't have to worry about hitting success club at the end of the month, right. at the last minute. Yeah. So that would be the best advice we could probably give about yeah, success club. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, if you haven't set your goals, set your goals right now. Write them down. Share them to Team Rise Up if you want to. It helps with accountability. But having your goals right next to you, whether it's in a notebook or on a dry erase board, every single month it'll help you. And you know, just like Keishon said, get out your, um, you know, your goal boards and your dream boards again and refocus on what got you started at the beginning of the year and what made you, you know, really zone in and what that big, powerful why is. You know, focus in on that and just keep going, keep pushing. I cannot end it as strongly as Keishon can, so I feel like I'm kind We're of like pretty low energy here. compared to Keishon, I Wow, think. man. Yeah. Does she take like lessons on that? Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. She, has, she doesn't have two kids. That's what it is. It's true. Good. Like by the end of the day, we're just drained. Uh, yeah. No. But, you know, I just want you guys to know that, you know, we are here for you guys. We believe in you. Okay, Sean's saying she believes in us, but we are here for you guys every day pushing. We want you guys to succeed and accomplish your goals. And I know that in June we can rock it. And I know the rest of the month we can do the same thing. And just help as many people as we can. You know, set a goal and don't think of it as a number. Set a goal with the number of lives you want to change. As she said, you know, change the name of it. And I already have. We call it the Three Lives Club and the Five Lives Club. So that's it. Simple. Three lives. And she said, how many people are out there that are overweight right now? So you cannot sit there and say that I don't really know anyone that I can help right now. Because there are people out there. There are people in social media land. There are people there in everyday land. You know, we go to the pool more in the summer now. And I feel like, you know, that's more of an opportunity to talk to people. When I take the kids, you talk to other moms, you know, go to the library more with your kids, get out there with your kids and just talk to people, you know, strike up a conversation. It doesn't have to be, hey, you know, I'm a beach buddy coach. This is what I do. And have you ever heard of 21 Day Fix? You know, it can be, hey, how are you? I love your sneakers. You know, those are awesome running sneakers. And conversations just get started that way. And that's how it happens. So it's just simply building relationships, making friends. That's all it is. And that's all we aim to do is just help people. So, all right, guys. That's Anybody all. have any questions? Yeah, any, we, oh, did we, we didn't check the chat, did we? Did we check? All right. Yeah. So, oh, just a couple books too. Someone did mention the 10 times rule. Veronica at the beginning of the call mentioned that that was an awesome book for her and it's getting her reignited and her passion back. And, um, I know, Oh, she mentioned the miracle morning Keishon did, which helped her to get into her morning routine of, you know, getting excited every morning. And she mentioned that in, early on in the call. So maybe you missed it, but miracle morning, 10 times rule, just some different, um, books that you guys can check out on audio, listen to it in your car. Um, but vital behaviors, it's all it is. Personal development, Inviting people every day, following up. That's part of inviting. You have to get out those follow-ups. One more thing. Yes. Some months are just harder than others. Okay. True. Some months you just might have to work harder for the same outcome. Mm -hmm. That's just the business. That's just the way it is. Yep. And we it, keep pushing through. What comes easy in January may not, as, may not as, come as easy in May. And that's okay. You know, mm -hmm. we, just keep, we just keep pushing. That's, that, and that's, that's the way to be consistent, to be successful. Every conversation, every conversation you're starting could lead to something in the future. They may not be ready now, but the more conversations you're starting every day, the more friends you're making, 
the more lives you're going to change eventually in the future. So keep it up. You guys are doing awesome. And I look forward to, you know, the rest of June. Were there any other questions on there? Oh, I didn't say so. Close judge. Nope. You're good. All right. All right so guys. that's it for us guys. Have an awesome night. Love you guys. We will see you soon. Okay. Good night. Bye.